Hey everyone, in this video, I will show you how to import a list of contacts in high level. Let's say you're moving away from any other CRM to a high level, or you somehow have a list of your past clients or customers you want to import in high level and do further sales and marketing like email campaigns, SMS campaigns, bulk email, bulk SMS and stuff like that. So in this video, I'll show you how to import the list and then you can do further marketing from there. In order to import a list in Go High Level, you need to have them in a certain format called a CSV. If you have exported it from any other CRM, chances are they are not or they may not be exported in the right format. What you need to do is whatever format they're exported in, you just can go online and then just convert it first. So let's say you have a Excel file. So I would say Excel file to CSV convert free online. It will give you tons of websites like this one. I actually used this one in the past. So just upload your list if it's not CSV already, and then it will convert it to CSV. So once you have your CSV file, what you need to do is in your Go High Level sub account, this is the sub account here switch to agency view or be in a sub account. So in the sub account where all the businesses automations are created or all the businesses stuff are created, you need to go to contacts. And then as you can see, there's nothing here yet. So I will go to import contacts and now it will give me an option to upload contacts or upload contacts plus add them to a pipeline. So if you have a pipeline over here under opportunities, let's say a pipeline called leads pipeline and you have new leads contacted, booked an appointment, and you want to add all these people from the list to new lead stage, you can do that as well. But in this video, I will just add them as contacts because obviously you have the option to add them as opportunities later once you upload them as contacts. Just select contacts and go to next. Now we will ask you to upload the CSV file, maximum size 30 megabytes. Just click on it and then this is my list. So I have 100 customers here. It has a few options, just create contacts, create an update contacts or just update contacts. So if you select create contacts, it will not upload or update the duplicates. So let's say you have a few people already in your system. If you select create and update contacts, it won't be duplicating those. But if it finds conflicts, it will just update the contact from the information in the CSV. It's the safest option to go with. And I'll do next. Hey everyone, just wanted to take a quick moment to share my school community where if you join, you get to ask me questions about issues you're facing on Go High Level Ads Automation AI. You can also be a part of the weekly coaching sessions where I conduct training on many different topics and we do a Q&A session after that. Besides, you get free access to a lot of my courses that I'm not uploading on YouTube anymore. Some of them you can already see on the screen. Also, there are members only discounts. So if you join, you get 50% off on my courses, my snapshots, my funnels, everything. That's pretty much what I want to share. See you on the other side. Now it will ask me to map the fields. So you have a few fields like name, email, phone number, contact, business name, age, gender, any other custom value if you want to map it with. But I will just make sure first name is mapped with first name. So this is field in Go High level. And this is the field in the column in the Excel sheet or the CSV file. So column header, these are the column names, index, customer ID, first name, last name, company. These are all in the CSV file. So I want to map the first name column with the first name field in Go High Level. Same thing for last name, same thing for business name or company, city, country, phone number. So I'll just do here phone and phone two. I can just ignore that and email will be email subscription date. We can ignore that website mapped with website. So if you want to map it all, you need to create custom fields by going to settings and custom fields here. If I go to custom fields. So this is the settings of the business, right? So this is the account, this is the settings. I will go to custom fields and then create a field called phone. So I will call this phone two and then group it as contact. So now if I create this custom field, it will give me an option to select that field as well. Obviously it's not here because I need to refresh the screen. So it's mapped. Okay, that's mapped as well. Phone two, as you can see, it's already mapped because it found a similarity in the name of the column name and the custom field that's why it's already there country phone one so i'll just do phone that's it email subscription date is not needed similarly if you want to map all the fields you need to create the other custom fields as well like index customer id and if you want to import everything you can obviously map that if you don't want to import everything you can just say don't import data in three unmapped columns the columns that haven't mapped with any go high level field here and then do next you have a few options. Create a smart list for new contacts. So you can create a smart list under contacts. So you can just literally click on that list and it will give you the contacts you imported. If you want to do that, you can just checkbox that. 
and check mark if you want to import them and then add them to a workflow. If you want to add a tag, so I'll just do a tag called import customer list. You can add a tag with a date in it. So import 24th July, but I'll just do import customer list. So if I want to filter by this tag later, I know that these people will show up because I'm adding a tag while importing them. That's pretty much what you need to do. I confirm, just start your bulk import. If you now go to bulk actions, it will show you the status of those 100 people. As you can see, all 100 success, 14 error 64. I think there was an error with my list there, but good to know that it's importing all the contacts. As long as you have a clear data, your contacts are valid, the emails are valid, phone numbers are valid, they will be imported. Now, if you want to select them all, in my list, only 35 people were valid. Now, if I wanted to add them to a pipeline, I'll just do pipelines change and then write, say, adding to pipeline. Select pipeline, I will just select leads pipeline and then upload to new leads. That's it. Check progress. Now, if I go to opportunities, I will see all the people added to the new leads pipeline. So they will be added here. There you go. So all the people are added in the new list pipeline. So that's how you import contacts. Now, if you want to do any further automation, you can do that because your contact list is already imported in Go High Level. So I hope this was useful. I'll see you in the next video.